Hi y'all, I'm about to do my week 28 injection. This is about to be my final semaglutide injection. I am making the switch to terzepatide uh, for my next injection on next Sunday. So this is my week 28 and uh, I am on the highest dose um, that my pharmacy does. And um, yeah, y'all, I'm like chilling. I just took my bonnet off. Um, cause I was going to do this injection with y'all real quick, but I just grabbed this out the fridge. Okay. And most of these are about empty, except for the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using this one right here. Okay. That's my semaglutide. So give me just a minute. I need to get my alcohol prep pads and, um, my little um my little insulin needle my little insulin syringe needle so just give me one minute one moment though four five four <laughs> oh and here's my sharps container as you can see this one is like super full so you need to um dispose of these you have to dispose of them properly so um anyway i have to make sure it's locked up and everything and follow the instructions Take it to where I need to take it to. Um, but I have a brand new one. And I'll show you. I actually purchased those uh, from Amazon. So yeah. Let me go get the rest of my stuff. I'll be right back. Alright y'all. So yeah girl. Got it. Um, yeah. So these are the short needle and some syringes. They don't hurt. Just a little poke. A little poke a poke. And if you're anything like me. Where you didn't have infusions and things like that. I didn't have like chemotherapeutic infusions and stuff like that. So this ain't nothing for me, child. But um, yeah, it goes up to 50 units and that's what I need to inject today is 50 units. So that is the highest dose. And then like I said, I'm going to be switching to terzepatide. But anyway, I got my alcohol pad, my alcohol prep pad right here. And what I'm going to do, I want to make sure that I clean a little vial. So, okay, vial is clean. I need to go ahead and what I'm going to do is pull this all the way back because I'm going to insert that into the vial. All that air is going to go into the vial. Okay, so I got my vial. And you want to be very careful. Please be very careful when you do this. If you're doing your injections. So inject the air first. All that air. The whole thing. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it. And then. I'm going to go ahead and pull. And then I kind of push it back up a little bit. Because it's not that. It's not as full as it was. But it's enough to get what I need. So. Y'all see the medication. The medicine is going in there and we're trying to get all the way. We're trying to go all the way to the 50, 50 units. All right. I'm going to go a little bit under the line, just a little drop under the line. But yeah, I'm going to get another clean alcohol prep pad to clean the injection area my injection spot and i have been doing my thigh i have been avoiding my tummy because uh i didn't want any gastro issues any of the yucky tummy issues i've been avoiding it but um i've been doing my thigh my thigh my thigh alternating so i gotta go back to my tummy so i'm gonna do my tummy this time and then um yeah and i'm probably gonna do my tummy for the first tersepatide injection the other side so but today, let's go ahead and you want to go at least two inches away from your belly button. So, so I'm going to pinch the skin a little tiny sting and pushing it slowly 
Yeah. You don't have to go too fast, y'all. All right. So this is my last semaglutide injection. You want to be safe. So what I like to do is just cap it back. I put the back back on it. And then I take my little sharps container. And this will be the last one I put in here. I'm going to be using a brand new one. So when I come back and do my first injection of terzepatide, I will bring the new sharps container. It looks like this though. It's just brand new. So y'all can see what it looks like in the packaging. But I get it from Amazon. Y'all message me if y'all need the link or something. I don't mind sharing, you know. We ain't gatekeeping up over here. We don't do that. But yeah, so um, hopefully, you know, it's a good week. I've done uh, the 2.5 dose. Uh, I remember I told y'all I titrated back down um, to the 2 milligrams. But I've done the 2.5. I think this is like my third week of doing 2.5 or either my second. I think it's my third of doing 2.5 yet again. So this time around, much better. I was able to still eat a decent amount. Um, definitely no food noise or not a whole lot of cravings and things like that. I had a burger today. Um, yeah, I had a really good burger today. So I enjoyed it for Red Robin. But um, all my locks are so frizzy right now, but I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, it's time for me to do a lock wash day. And I probably get some clips of that for y'all. But um, yeah, week 28 on semaglutide. And we're going to see where we go. Down 38 pounds. Maybe this week, you know. I don't know if I get to uh, finally down 40 pounds. But we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Um, it might be 39. Could be 40. But we'll see. And then um, I'll bring y'all along. And then I'll also tell y'all... Um, I'll talk to y'all more about why I'm switching to Terzepatai. So, yeah. All right, GLP-1 kings and queens. Peace out.